Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Science for You. Today, we will learn how to make an extremely simple, yet very interesting Arduino project, an analog OLED clock. The clock is made from a 0.96 inch OLED 128 by 64 pixel display. This clock does not use a real time clock RTC module and thus extremely simple to make. Please subscribe to my channel for watching more interesting DIY projects in the future. Thank you. For this project you need Arduino Uno, a battery pack and OLED display as the main components. The OLED display has 128 by 64 pixel, 0.96 inch diagonal size. The model we're using here has only 4 pins. 2 pins for power and 2 pins SCL and SD for communicating the Arduino using I2C communication protocol. The connections are extremely simple. First, take 4 jumper wires and connect them to the 4 pins of the OLED display. Connect the VCC pin of display to plus 5 volts pin of Arduino and ground pin of display to ground pin of Arduino. Connect the SD a pin of display to analog input 4 of Arduino and SCL pin of display to analog input 5 of Arduino. For powering the Arduino, connect positive terminal of battery to VN pin of Arduino and negative terminal of battery to ground pin of Arduino. That is it. The connections are complete. Now, connect the Arduino to PC or laptop using USB cable. We have to first install the library called U8GLIB. For that, go to Tools, Manage Libraries. Search for U8GLIB and click Install. This is a very important step. This library is used for displaying in monochrome OLED and TFT displays. After successfully installing the library, go to Tools and make sure you have selected the correct version of the Arduino board. Also go to Tools and check the correct port is selected for uploading the code to the Arduino. Now upload the code. You can see that after successfully uploading the code, the analog clock gets displayed on the OLED screen. Now, I will tell you how to do the synchronization of the analog clock in OLED display with the actual time. This project doesn't use real-time clock or RTC module. Hence, we have to manually synchronize with the clock. In the code you can enter the hours minutes and seconds here, which is the starting time shown in the analog clock during power up. So you have to enter a starting time here and when the actual time reaches this set time, quickly power on the OLED display. Thus the analog clock is synchronized with the actual time. Here, I have set the start time of the OLED display to 3 o'clock. When the actual time reached 3 o'clock, I immediately powered on the clock, thus synchronizing with the actual time. Since it is not synchronized with real time clock, there will be some difference with actual clock as the time progresses. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.